Welcome to this video on using HID Mobile Access. With HID Mobile Access, you can use a smartphone, tablet or wearable to access doors, gates, networks and more. This solution for access control greatly improves convenience in today's mobile first world. In this video, we'll show you how to set up a user and issue and revoke mobile IDs onto their iOS or Android device. Setting up a user for mobile access is a simple and quick process. The administrator creates the user's credentials in the HID Arigo management portal, which in turn creates and sends an invitation email to the user's email address. Users can be set up individually or in batches by uploading a CSV file or Excel spreadsheet using one of the supplied templates. At this point, the administrator can also assign a mobile ID so that as soon as the user accepts the invitation and completes the process, the mobile ID will be immediately available. However, we're going to perform this process separately. The email contains an invitation code for the mobile access app. Clicking on the link provided in the email downloads the HID mobile access app if it hasn't been downloaded already. Clicking the invitation code in the email will open the app and enter the code automatically. The code can also be manually entered into the Mobile Access app. Clicking on Register completes the registration process. Within a few seconds, the user's device will be registered on the portal and will be ready to have a mobile ID issued to it. When the user has downloaded the app and has accepted the invitation code, the administrator can then issue mobile IDs to the user's device. Within the HID Arigo management portal, the administrator will have one or more mobile IDs available to issue to their users. To issue a mobile ID to a user, the administrator simply selects the user's account within the portal and clicks the Issue Mobile ID button. They then select the mobile ID they wish to issue. Clicking the mobile ID highlights it ready for issuance. The administrator can then decide whether they want to issue the mobile ID using the next available access control number or select one themselves. Clicking the Issue Mobile ID button issues the selected mobile ID. Once the mobile ID has been issued, it will appear within the user's mobile app dependent on their internet connection. Typically, if the connection is good, the mobile ID should appear within seconds. As soon as it arrives on the user's device, it is available to use. On the settings screen, the user can choose when to allow the mobile access app to work. When the app is in the foreground, we'll allow the app to open doors only when the app is open and in the foreground on the device. When the device is unlocked, does not require the app to be in the foreground but does require the device to be unlocked. Always means the mobile ID will work even if the phone is locked and the screen is dark. The user can also choose to turn the twist and go feature on or off. If a user loses their device or if an employee should be denied access, the administrator can choose to revoke a mobile ID. Revoking a mobile ID is as simple as issuing one. The administrator selects the user's account and they will see all issued mobile IDs on the user's device. Underneath each mobile ID is a link entitled Revoke Mobile ID. Clicking this link reveals a pop-up that asks whether the administrator is sure they want to perform the action. 
Clicking yes immediately revokes the mobile ID from the user's device, provided they have an internet connection. If they don't, the mobile ID will be revoked as soon as the device connects online. For the purposes of security, the administrator should also immediately remove the user from the access control system. Help and answers to frequently asked questions can be found in both the portal and the app. To access the help and FAQs in the portal, simply click the question mark on the right of the title bar. This will show links to a wide range of useful tools and support services, including a knowledge base, user guides and HID Academy training, as well as the ability to report critical service interruptions and contacts to technical support. Similarly, the app menu offers built-in video tutorials, access logs, contact details with links to FAQs, as well as the ability to directly email diagnostics to the mobile access provider. <laughs>